repo time. Kind of get tired of saying that. Maybe I need a new saying. 12 for 24. Not sure if I'm at the right place, but we'll find out. Find a storage shed. Storage shed. Yep. Whose name was it in? Uh, let me see. Must have been building was right there on top of the hill. It and was, huh? Yeah. And I it ain't no more. Somebody, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh really? Yep. It so was. that's the house right here. Oh uh, yeah, it was. Okay, right it was up there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna walk up there and check it out and see yeah, if you can see where it was set. Okay. The owner of that owns that property there. He lives right there, Jeff Carl. The purple roof, uh, the, the right broken yeah. roof. Yeah. Okay, so he owns the property. Yeah. Okay, well, I might go talk to him then. Yeah, he'll tell you exactly. Okay. I think he's got the people's tag number or something that came and got that building. Okay. All right, I'll go talk to him. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Yellow. Who, oh, Jeff? Yeah. That's what the guy sat down there. Well, I'm going after a shed that was up on the hill. I guess. What is it? The shed, the story shed. Is on repo. Uh, I talked to a guy down there on the road, and he said it used to be set on on the hill. Yeah. And I guess you own the property, and I'm right. trying to figure out what happened to the shed. That boy got rid of it. The guy that bought it. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any information of who bought it or where it could? The only thing I can do is uh, find you a. Uh, the day they took it out of there, and I thought I was got to thinking of why, because I'm the because I'm the guy that owns the land. Yeah. And this. We kind of got into it, mm -hmm. and, I, and I was thinking, if I don't get these people's license number, mm -hmm. he'll tell them, he'll tell these people that he moved out, and I got rid of the building. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I got the license plate number off mm -hmm. the car that the people bought the building off of him. Okay. So that's okay. Let got me look and see. Okay. I just got a license plate number. Okay. I don't know the people's name, number, or nothing yeah. like that. I'll take any information I can get. And well, let me see if I can find on. it. For okay, My I wife appreciate it. Ready to go to the doctor. She got a broken leg. So. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Hello, puppy. What do you think? Okay. Well, I said if they some, because I got things in my, you know, I've dealt with Never renters and this. stuff over there. Four or five of them. Yeah. I've dealt with renters over there, and uh, people are shady. Yeah. Yeah, I see your point. Since I'm the land, since I'm the guy that owned the land, and y'all, you know, they didn't they didn't have that building up there three months, man, three, four, there two, is. three months, and they got rid of, it, didn't they, bud? Yeah. Yeah. And I told the boy, I said, "What the hell are you selling that for?" Because he sold, he's had other buildings he sold. Mm -hmm. Huh? But yes, yeah, so instead of letting us come get see, it, he, he just goes, sells he it. Goes and... with my... Don't know what the hole's all about. It's probably a septic tank. So, <clears throat> man, I'm out of breath from walking up the hill. Tells you what shape I'm in. So, yeah, in case you didn't catch on yet, I guess the shit was there and they sold it. The neighbor who owns the land seen him. You know, Salah noted sold it, so he got the license plate from the vehicle that people have bought it. So, I guess, hey, I did all my all I can do, so I'll pass that on to. There's a bug eye. State of Ohio, right here. It's a bug eye. Um, give that license plate to finance company, and they can. Try to get a hold of the people who bought it if you want to. Fortunately, they went and paid money for shit that's stolen. And it comes down to it. So, what they'll do about it, I don't know. Well, hello, hello, Detective Josh here. I'm back. Um, I should be pulling up to where I believe the shed is. So. Yeah, I did a little bit of investigating. This is the kind of stuff I like to do. So the guy back there gave me the license plate number and the name, the 
make a model of the vehicle, but the license plate number I had, that was the only thing I had of the person who bought the Chef. So I did some, uh, you know, my stuff. I found the name and an address. So it's kind of cool when I found, before I had an address, I got the name of the, the owner of that vehicle. I'm not gonna say what kind of vehicle it was, but it gave me the year and the color and I had to make a model of the vehicle. So I took the name, went on Facebook, and <laughs> I found there's a state trooper. I'm just gonna lower my camera a little bit. You know, I'm like, what's he holding, the phone? All right. Um, so I found the person on Facebook, and you wouldn't believe it, the first thing I see is big profile picture on top of the Facebook. It's a picture of the guy kind of kneeling down in his driveway, and in the background, right behind him, Yep, you guessed it. The make and model color, and it looks like that year, close enough, of the vehicle that belongs to that lighting plate. <laughs> it's like, you gotta be kidding me. But the lighting plate wasn't in the picture. It was like, just right up to the edge. So I couldn't verify it, but still, like, what are the odds? I mean, it was enough for me. But then I did find an address. So that's where I'm headed to now. Um, I'm not gonna put my camera on. I'll probably put it here in the truck and I gotta get there yet and you know see if the building's there but just out of respect for him he has you know he doesn't know I assume he doesn't know that really he's in possession of stolen property that's what it is this guy the, the other guy bought it and uh, went and sold it didn't make the payments on it so now it's considered stolen property and uh, I don't know what's gonna happen yet. I'm just gonna go and see if somebody's home, try to make contact, maybe get in, uh, get him uh, to contact the rent own company, see if they can work something out, but they want their shit back, and unfortunately he bought it, probably, you know, paid, probably got a good deal on it, so it's a, it's a situation, but I, uh, I just, I'm just happy that I actually found the name and address, and so, we're gonna see. Well, there it is. Sitting back there. Pretty nice looking. So, I'm gonna boogie in there and uh, see what we can do. So, wow. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. They. They have a girl that was a, uh, did she say uh, they adopted her or she fostered? I think it might be fostering her. 10 years old and she has half a heart. And she had a bucket list of some things that she wanted. And she can't play outside or be in the cold or in the heat at least. She was outside here. And um, so they ended up, the community actually came to get her. And help them with the money to buy this shit. And the dumb scumbag that sold it to him. Well, it's stolen. You know? He, he, he had it for, I guess, about three months. Is what the owner, the property owner said back then. And, um. Never paid for it. Sold it to them. For this little girl. Which they already spent another five hundred dollars and, and more money on insulation and working on finishing it out and stuff, and only to find out now that it's stolen. And his it, it was an emotional situation in there. The lady just she couldn't believe it. So I have an idea. Uh, I have a plan. But um, we'll have to see what happens. So I'm out. So, yes, that was the situation. So, <laughs> they go through all this stuff, and all of a sudden, one day, a stranger to me, by the way, shows up at their door and says, oh, that shit's stolen. So, she was the lady there. She was, uh, she was a little planet right away. She's like, you're kidding me. What, 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 now what? And, and I can understand, you know, just wanted to hurt the story. Um, so we're, you know, talking to her and 
trying to figure out what we could do. And I said, you know, I'm not going to just take the shit, obviously. So we made contact with the rent to own company that, you know, owns it and they want it back. And so they're like, well, so they said the same thing. So just leave it for now. Um, we'll work something out with them maybe. And you know, they needed to get a hold of the owner, the company, to see what he wants to do. And so I got to think, you know, I got YouTube, you know, I mean, I got you guys, you guys are awesome. And, um, thank you by the way for being awesome and being part of this channel, this channel and this journey. So like, you know, I could do a, uh, GoFundMe account and we could raise the money and we take care of this. So that was kind of my plan. So tonight I, I called the lady and she said, actually the finance company contacted her and they said that they're just going to let it go. They're going to write it off as a loss and um, they can have it. They don't have to pay for it. So that was really cool. I would like to share their name. That was very awesome to them. That's typically a lot of these companies are good people, but I I don't have their permission to share their name. So I'm not going to do that. So I thought, you know, I still want to do something. Like I still want to do something for your daughter. Like, come on, we got to do something. And so she shared with me that she wanted to go to Disney World and dress up and, you know, go with the, the characters there and all that kind of stuff. And I guess she can't do the rides there, but she can, I mean, there's a lot of attractions, a lot of stuff to do at Disney World. So they did go one time and their luggage, just, luggage got lost in the air and with the airlines and it never made it there and her her dress up and stuff that she wanted to wear was in there so it kind of ruined the trip so they're planning another trip there they somebody else had already created a gofundme account to raise money for that and the goal was to raise ten thousand they're at 6400 when i she sent me the link they're at 6400 so we're going to blow this up and i'm not talking ten thousand i want to see I want to see a hundred thousand. I don't care. Two hundred thousand, five hundred, doesn't matter. I just want to see, we're just going to bless them. We're just going to blow, blow this up. Okay. So I'm not going to ask for anybody to donate. By the way, this is not for me. This is for her and I'm not getting any of it, but I'm going to do my part first. So I will do one thousand between me and my wife. We will do one thousand dollars that we'll donate. So that will by the time you see it, it should be at 7,400. So we're going to do that. The other thing I'm going to do is, from this video, I do make some money from these videos, depending on how many views, make more or less, and that kind of stuff. So from all the ad revenues, those cool, annoying ads, for one month, the first month of this video, I will take all that, and I will donate that too to her. If by any chance the GoFundMe is not up anymore, I'll personally take it and give it to them. Um, all I'm asking, just this one thing, is that you blow this up. Take it, share this video I'm talking about. Share it with friends, text it to people, uh, put it on Facebook, Twitter, social media, all the boolas and the hulas and kulas that are out there. Uh, let's blow this thing up. I want, to, I want to see this thing go wild and crazy, and I want to see the dough rolling in. So it's just money. I mean, I we've given a lot of money away and. By a lot, I mean very little to some people and very lot to the other people. But it's just money. It always comes back. We've never given that we weren't blessed with even more or that we regret it. So, boom. Hey, let's do it. Um, one more thing wasn't there. Was what? Oh, the link. Yes, I will put the link in the description. So, if you look at the description of the video, I'll have the link there. And I'll also put it in the comment. Uh, a pin at the top so the link will be in the bottom of the video somewhere you'll find the link okay um so thank you and god bless <music>